It's about five minutes to three. You mind if we start a little bit early on this one right here? All right. This gentleman right here, Dill McCory, we didn't have these guys with us yesterday. A warm welcome to the Mountain State, one of the most beautiful states in the United States of America, which is beautiful in itself. This guy right here, let me tell you a little bit about him. He's, he started picking a banjo about 1953 or so. And uh, Mr. Bill Monroe come and got him. So if that tells you anything right there. Did a little, uh, did a little lead singing, a little guitar picking, got mad and went out on his own about 1967. But now they've only got about 12 albums and this guy was only named the International Bluegrass Music Association Top Male Vocalist uh, one year, 1990, no, two years, 1990 and 91. Three years, see, well update your bios. Okay, and uh, Sidney Cox, who I believe has a pretty honest assumption of somebody or opinion of somebody, says they're gonna turn it up, so we're gonna welcome them right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mountain State Bluegrass Festival welcomes Del McCrory band right here. Hey folks, good to see y'all out here today. I tell you, this West Virginia air is awful good. I can sing good in this air now. <laughs> it's a lot better than Tokyo, I'll put it that way. <laughs> uh, let's see, good to see y'all. I'm gonna introduce everybody to you right now. We're gonna start with the fella over here playing the fiddle. He's all 20 years old. He's been 20 for about two months now, at least. No, maybe three months. I don't know. First day's on the same day as mine. Are you my age? <laughs> No, I Must guess he ain't. <laughs> By the way, she'd make him welcome. He's from Lloyd, Kentucky. His name is Jason Carter. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh, well, let's see here. I guess we'll get Jason to start us off on an old tune that we've been doing for a long time. And it's a blues tune. And one entitled, I'm the blues man in town. <laughs>
shadows are creeping Appreciate that. Let's see. Well, we better go over here and introduce this banjo picker and let him play a little tune. And uh, he's been with me for about five years now. And he'll, I'm sure he's got something good to pick for you. This is my youngest son, Robbie. If you'd like to make him welcome over here. Family. You sounded good a while ago. I was out there working, but I could hear you. <laughs> good to see Sydney. You know, your sisters are a lot prettier than you are, Sydney. You know that? <laughs> yeah, you've got that same disease I've got, Sydney. <laughs> Let's see here. We had a couple requests before we came on. One of them was to leave. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, folks. I'm just kidding. Let's see here. Uh, I'll introduce the mandolin player to you. I missed somebody along the road here, didn't I? Well, let's see. We'll get this fella to sing you a little song, I guess, here. The guy playing the mandolin. He, uh, he won the mandolin player of the year award this time in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, at the Spigma Award Show. And I wish you'd make him welcome my oldest son, Ronnie McCurry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is an old Ernest Tub tune called Thanks a Lot. I was passing by. But you're not sorry that you made me 
Folks, I appreciate that. Once in a while, these guys surprise me with the big Texas troubadour ending there. <laughs> this next fella in line, like Mr. MC said, is the International Bluegrass Music Association's male vocalist of the year for the third year in a row. We're real proud of him. He's uh, he's taking us all over this world, and we just got back from Japan from a 20-day tour. And we leave next Wednesday for England for a week. You may have seen him on American Music Shop. He sung this tune with Ricky Skaggs about two years ago. This is one he wrote called I Feel the Blues Moving In. Please give Del McCurry a hand. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you. You know, we get up here in this good West Virginia air and you can't keep the instruments in tune. <laughs> They're not used to this good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Likes this good air, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna do one entitled I Feel the Blues Moving In. You did say that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs>
Folks, thanks. Well, we didn't introduce our bass player yet. He's in, he lives in Nashville, Tennessee, and he plays just about everything, but he's playing the bass with this band here and singing the baritone. We'll get him to sing one after a while. You know, pick one first. Let's do one. You pick a little thing. We do one where a bub takes a little uh, little bass break. How about a little hand for Mike Bub? You want to? Keep your sheets, folks. I know it's hot out there. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm going to play an old Bill Monroe tune that I learned from a 1961 recording called The Bluegrass Twist. Are you ready? <laughs> Do a little trail number here. This is a song that I wrote one time. We have it on a record. And like I say, we have CDs and tapes up there on top of the hill somewhere. If y'all can find them, I'm sure I'll find it. <laughs> and so uh, if there's an intermission here, well, we'll be up there with you. The uh, 
Hawks family already selling up on top of the hill, I think, ain't they sold out. They're sold out already, so you'll have to come to our table, won't they? <laughs> Mike, help me do a little tune entitled This Kind of Life. folks i tell you we're just having a big old time here with you folks here today we we just finished a tour over in japan i think we was over there about 18 days and uh, my voice was all good the whole tour you know we sang a lot but the last i got a cold or something and the last night of the tour we played in tokyo and it was a packed house and i couldn't hit a note sideways it would just go everywhere <laughs> and it's just catching up the bub i think ain't it? yeah it went through all of us and i think the last one to get is jason carter he's I know I was driving down the road the other night and I heard somebody hacking in the coffin. That's, uh, he's got it. You don't know it, but you've got it. <laughs> anyway, well, this is the best I've sounded in a week. And that ain't saying much. <laughs> Has anybody got a request you'd like to hear? Jason. Okay, we won't do it then. <laughs> yeah, you'll know sing. Well, you might not be able to sing a lick today. I probably can't. <laughs> He was down, he was, last evening, he was down there with Curly Ray Klein down there in Southwest Virginia. And I think he watched the retirement of Curly Ray Klein, didn't he? I did. <laughs> Brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> did he? <laughs> Let's see, is there a request? True Life You got the title of it? Oh, True Life Blues, is that it? Wasn't that, huh? We're waiting. Oh, oh, well, that's too easy. We're just going to try to figure it out. <laughs> you give us the name of it. <laughs> take me to the mountains. That's it, eh? Oh, oh, take me back and try me. That's another Ernest Tubb song. Yeah, take me back and... Uh-oh. We recorded that song one time, and it's an old Ernest Tubb song, the one that the lady's talking about over there. And uh, it's one entitled, Take Me Back and Try Me One More Time, and I'll try it. That's it. She's ready to break. <laughs> well, I'd say we have this on our last uh, CD, the one entitled, the the uh, blue side of town, and, and we're going to do Take Me Back and Try Me One More Time.
Give me now. 